Welcome to our special episode on flowing wisdom, embracing Bruce Lee's Be Water philosophy. Today we dive deep into the teachings of Bruce Lee, a martial artist, actor and philosopher whose wisdom transcends time and discipline. Join us as we explore his famous Be Water philosophy and uncover some lesser known aspects of his life and teachings. I mean, the way he said it is water can flow or it can crash, right? Like water is the softest, most gentle, life-giving, pliable, beautiful thing, but it also can be a tsunami. And I mean, this is like a lifelong practice, right? Like how to find balance and what your particular balance is and what's called for in a particular situation. There's never just like one solution, never just one right answer. Yeah. You know, you have to be present to it. And Bruce Lee, born on November 27, 1940 in San Francisco, was not just a martial arts icon, but a revolutionary thinker. His philosophy of be water, my friend is more than just a phrase. It's a profound way of life. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water, Lee once said. This simple yet profound statement captures the essence of his philosophy. Water is adaptable. It can flow or it can crash. Bruce Lee's life was an embodiment of this adaptability. Born to a family of Hong Kong actors, Lee was introduced to the film industry at a young age, but his journey was not a straightforward path to stardom. Lee's early life in Hong Kong was challenging. He faced bullying and street fights, experiences that shaped his thoughts on self-defense and personal growth. At 18, Bruce Lee moved to the United States, embracing his water-like adaptability. He worked odd jobs, from waiting tables to teaching dance. Yes, dance. Not many know that Bruce Lee was an accomplished cha-cha dancer. This period of struggle was crucial. Lee developed his martial arts style, Jeet Kune Do, during these years. Jeet Kune Do was not just a fighting technique, it was a philosophy, emphasizing flexibility, efficiency, and simplicity. Lee's philosophy was influenced by various sources. He studied philosophy at the University of Washington, where he met his wife, Linda. His readings ranged from Western philosophers like Socrates to Eastern thinkers like Lao Tzu. But why be water? Water is formless and adaptable. It takes the shape of whatever container it's in. In a cup, it becomes the cup. In a bottle, it becomes the bottle. Lee believed in being adaptable to any situation in life, just like water. His famous water quote came from a 1971 interview on the Pierre Berton show. But what's less known is how he developed this thought. In his personal writings, Lee talked about the nature of water, how it is soft yet strong, capable of adapting yet maintaining its essence. Lee's Be Water philosophy extends beyond martial arts. It's a guide to living. In facing obstacles, be adaptable. In conflicts, be fluid. In growth, be relentless. Lee's untimely death at the age of 32 in 1973 left the world in shock. Yet his legacy lives on, not just in the martial arts community, but in the lives of millions who embrace his wisdom. Interestingly, Lee's influence reached far beyond martial arts and philosophy. His approach to fitness and body training was revolutionary. He combined different forms of exercise, from weight training to cardiovascular workouts, to build a body that was not just muscular, but agile and flexible. Bruce Lee's diet was also ahead of its time. He focused on high protein, nutrient rich foods and avoided empty calories long before modern dietary trends emerged. This holistic approach to health was in perfect harmony with his Be Water philosophy, adaptable, efficient, and always evolving. But let's delve deeper into a less discussed aspect of Lee's life, his writing. Bruce Lee was an avid writer, jotting down reflections, poems, and philosophies in his numerous personal notebooks. These writings reveal a man deeply introspective and constantly in pursuit of personal growth. In these pages, Lee explored the concepts of self-actualization, the importance of self-expression, and the journey towards personal liberation. He wrote, The function and duty of a quality human being is the sincere and honest development of one's potential. This pursuit of potential led Lee to break numerous barriers. He challenged the stereotypes of Asian men in Hollywood, striving for roles that depicted strength and complexity. 
His role in the TV series The Green Hornet and movies like Enter the Dragon broke new ground in how Asian actors were perceived in the West. His fight against racial stereotypes wasn't just on screen. Lee opened his martial arts schools to all, irrespective of race or nationality, at a time when this was uncommon in traditional martial arts circles. He believed in sharing knowledge and breaking down barriers, just like water crosses boundaries seamlessly. Bruce Lee's influence extended into the world of sports as well. Athletes from various disciplines cite Lee as an inspiration for his focus on mental strength, physical agility, and strategic thinking. His training methods, emphasizing adaptability and efficiency, are still used by many sports trainers today. Beyond the realm of physical fitness and sports, Lee's philosophy has been adopted by leaders in business, art, and various other fields. The idea of being like water, adaptable, flexible, and powerful, resonates in boardrooms, studios, and beyond. Bruce Lee's legacy also lives on through his family. His daughter, Shannon Lee, has been instrumental in preserving and promoting her father's teachings. She manages the Bruce Lee Foundation, which aims to share his positive messages and philosophies with the world. As we reflect on Bruce Lee's life and teachings, it's clear that his philosophy of be water is more than just a martial arts concept. It's a metaphor for life. In a world that's constantly changing, being adaptable, flexible, and resilient, like water, is perhaps the best way to navigate the complexities of life. Now, let's explore some of the more obscure yet fascinating aspects of Bruce Lee's life and philosophy that resonate with his Be Water teachings. Did you know that Bruce Lee was deeply influenced by the teachings of Taoism? This ancient Chinese philosophy, centered around living in harmony with the Tao, or the Way, significantly shaped Lee's thoughts and practices. One Taoist concept, Wu Wei, meaning non-action or effortless action, is particularly evident in Lee's approach to martial arts and life. He believed in the natural flow of movements and thoughts, avoiding forced or unnatural actions, which is a direct reflection of the Be Water philosophy. Bruce Lee's library contained over 2,500 books, ranging from philosophy and psychology to martial arts and physical fitness. This vast collection indicates his unquenchable thirst for knowledge and his dedication to understanding the world from multiple perspectives. Another little-known fact about Lee was his interest in poetry. He wrote poems that reflected his philosophical beliefs, his love for his wife, and his introspections on life. These poems offer a window into the soul of a man often seen only as a martial artist and actor. Lee was also fascinated with the concept of self-identity. He struggled with his cultural identity, being born in the United States but raised in Hong Kong. This quest for self-understanding led him to embrace a fluid sense of identity, much like water, which does not conform to a single shape or form. In conclusion, Bruce Lee's wisdom teaches us to embrace change, to flow with the challenges and opportunities that life presents, and to remain true to ourselves while adapting to the world around us. As Lee himself said, to be fluid, to be like water, to be adaptable, to be changeable, to be flexible, and to be soft yet strong. Bruce Lee's journey, his struggles, his triumphs, and his teachings continue to inspire and guide us. His legacy is a testament to the enduring power of wisdom, adaptability, and the human spirit.